Hello, I'm Chen Yul Yu, and I will guide you through a demonstration of our system. Here, we can see Dr. Bernard Gillemet, a teacher, creating a document which is intended to raise awareness about HIV. Any teacher, NGO, or a member from a Minister of Education can create a document to be published. Or they can select a pre-made tutorial from the OneBeep website. Now that Dr. Gilliman has the file he'd like to send, he then uses OneBeep Publisher to convert the document into audio for sending. Once navigated to and selected, the contents of the chosen document are displayed in the preview window. When Dr. Gilliman is happy with the document, he simply clicks the publish button and the process begins. The document is now broken down into its binary data and using our own algorithm, it is mapped into an audio format which can be sent over any radio network. Once complete, the file can be saved and sent to a transmitting station already to be played. At the broadcaster end, all that is needed is a way to play this audio file. Here you can see the broadcaster preparing the file which will be played over the FM or AM network. We are now at the receiving end with Mayank. First, a standard radio is tuned to the correct frequency. Mayank then connects the radio to the laptop using a very cheap audio cable. The OneBeep software is started up and the receiving can begin. With the radio connected to the laptop, Mayank can use OneBeep receiver to time the recording of the transmitted audio file. The actual length of this particular audio is about 40 seconds. However, for error correction and time reasons, 5 minutes is allowed to ensure the document is received in its full original format. Once the file is finished downloading and converted to its original format, Maya can open the document to see his new information received. The OneBeep library is automatically updated with the file as it's received and uses text to allocate where in the library the document is to be saved. Since the document sent was educating about HIV awareness, it is found in the health section. Children can also search OneBeep library for whatever they might be looking for. The search function can be used to search through the titles of the files and they can also search the content inside the document. For example, if a child would like to see a tutorial that they have previously received to hone their subtraction skills, they can easily go straight to and open the specific document. Simple, elegant, and easy to use. Hi, I'm Kyle, and I'm here to wrap things up. We have shown you here today the problem of illiteracy and why education is the foundation to all the other United Nations Millennium Development Goals. We have shown you our one beep solution and the change that it could influence. All in all, the one beep software is a complete package comprising of the one beep publisher, receiver and library. This eliminates the hassle of distributing different softwares to different users. Throughout the development of our project, we have been in contact with a number of people who could help us make this idea into a reality. Here's what Jane Foster, Program Director of Oxfam, had to say about OneBeep. I'm Jane Foster. I'm the Program Director for Oxfam New Zealand. Oxfam works with a network of rural training centres in Vanuatu, providing much needed technical and vocational training to young people who live in very remote and inaccessible parts of the island nation of Vanuatu. 
One of the key ways that they use to communicate with the Rural tra Training Centre's network is a rural email uh, system based on v VHF radio frequencies. We believe that the technological innovation that Team 1B have achieved would enable them to extend this rural email network, increasing communication, increasing access to educational materials in an affordable, low-cost way using really appropriate technology. Thanks to Peter Casey, a senior development engineer at Radio Networks New Zealand, we had a chance to successfully test out our system on a real radio station. He had this to say about our one beep solution. He said the really exciting thing about one beep solution is you can digitally connect laptops using AM radios which are already available in third world nations. We have used state-of-the-art Microsoft technologies in developing the one beep software. We have designed our software targeted towards primary school children so that it is simple, intuitive, and fun to use. Microsoft Visual Studio has been used to develop the OneBeep software's graphical user interface. For the OneBeep website, Microsoft Web Expression was used to deliver a rich and intuitive user interface. We have also extended the model to include Microsoft's Azure platform to host the digital files in the cloud. Microsoft's .NET framework has been used throughout our development while the whole application has been written in the c -sharp programming language. Hey there, my name is Vinny and I'm the team leader of OneBeep. This has been quite a journey for us and we look forward to seeing you in Poland and demonstrating the capabilities of OneBeep solution to you. Here is the team once again, Chenyol on the left, then me, Kayo and Steve. One child, one life, one beep.